Welcome to Baumit Life Challenge 2021. Architecture needs to be awarded. Your work, your achievement, your honor. The way people think, the way they build and live. Fantasy is more important than knowledge because it knows no boundaries. If nature had been comfortable, mankind would never have invented architecture. Color in the architecture has to be intense and logical. We must try to reach the impossible to get the possible. Architecture consists of dream, imagination, curves and empty spaces. A new structure of things, another vision. Everything is architecture. Let the challenge begin. Hello and welcome to the fourth Baumit Life Challenge. It's a unique contest for the best facades of Europe and this year's award should actually have taken place in Spain in Valencia, but due to COVID, so many things have changed. So Baumit had the chance and had to change the event to an online event. So it's for the first time online and for the first time not in the last year's winner's country. It's a pity for the last 36 remaining shortlist projects. It's a pity for the architects, for the investors and the constructors. But the good news is everyone can be part of it. So welcome to all of you at home, in your home offices and wherever you are. It all started with an idea of a man back in 2012. He is the initiator of the Life Challenge. He's the CEO of the Baumit Group and the owner representative of Schmidt Industry Holding. Let's welcome Mr. Robert Schmidt. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first time uh, of a Baumit Life Challenge in this way. Normally, we should all meet together in Valencia in Spain, but thank you, Corona, we are here. It's the first trial uh, to do this uh, event uh, in form of an uh, internet event. And uh, I'm looking forward uh, uh, how it will go. Uh, if there's the one or other, we say in German language in Austria, hoppala, so if something does not work, please excuse. Uh, but I think uh, that's it, that's part of life. Uh, and uh, I hope uh, that there are not too many hopalas. Uh, for sure, I would have liked uh, to meet you in Valencia, to celebrate together, uh, to drink a glass of wine, to eat, to look at this wonderful city there. But unfortunately, it's not possible. It was not possible. And so we have to do it like this. I want to thank you especially uh, for the work you have done for us, for the European villages, for the European uh, towns, for our landscape, because the houses you built uh, uh, with your creativity uh, and the work uh, uh, you do uh, makes Europe more beautiful. And this is the point and the reason uh, why uh, we organize and why uh, this life challenge is so important for us. Uh, in the times before life challenge uh, and in the decades before, uh, our main purpose was to save energy, uh, to reduce heating and uh, uh, cooling costs, uh, to reduce uh, energy uh, and uh, to save uh, the climate. Uh, but uh, we found out uh, together with you and thanks to you, uh, how important is architecture? How important is, is the optic? Uh, your work uh, you do together with our products. Uh, so uh, I'm looking forward uh, to this event and uh, I wish you uh, a nice uh, afternoon. Uh, I hope uh, everything goes quickly. 
So it needs less time uh, than if we would have been together in Valencia. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, I hope uh, it will be uh, interesting uh, for you. It will be interesting. Yes. I think so. I hope so. So um, let's talk about the project. Let, let's talk about the winners. Do you know who the winners will be? <laughs> no. No idea. No, no. My marketing guys are too. Uh, uh, they are not nice. Yeah. So they didn't tell you anything. No, it is um, actually in the hands of our 30 jury members. I hope members. it's not Spain again because uh, it's not possible that always Spain wins. Yeah, but we will find <laughs> out later. Um, it, it is all in the hands of the 13 jury members and this is the jury. More than 385 projects from 26 countries got submitted. Now we have 36 shortlist projects from 16 countries. The front runners are Baumit Austria with five nominations, followed by Baumit Germany, Poland, Slovakia, and Germany with four, uh, four shortlist projects, and Italy with three shortlist projects. But no one should be underestimated, everyone can win. From this 36 projects, the jury finally selected six category winners and one life challenge winner. The expert jury has already voted, but, but as this is an online event, you can also vote. Scan the QR code you see on your screen and be part of it. Before each category is awarded, you will be asked to vote for your favorite. So you will see the QR code, scan it once, and then you can be part of it in every um, category. Now, let's start with the competition. Let's start with the first category. It's thermal renovations. And I would like to know, Mr. Schmidt, why is it thermal renovation? That's the uh, reason why we start with. Uh, as I said before, the main reason for our facades, for our products, uh, for the Bamit products, is energy saving. At the moment, it's Corona. Everywhere Corona, we are speaking about Corona. But uh, the topic climate change uh, uh, will restart, will start again, will come again. Uh, and then uh, the reducing, the saving uh, of energy will come back. Uh, at the moment, nowadays, uh, everybody's speaking about uh, electricity uh, with wind or with uh, sun, about modern heating and climate uh, uh, cooling systems all this machinery. But at the end, the point is, we have to reduce mm. the energy. We have to reduce energy and we have at the same time maximize the comfort uh, for us, for the people, uh, and last or least, uh, the, 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 the healthiness of the people living in the houses. And uh, to tell you, uh, give you an, a, a picture, uh, uh, what this means, uh, uh, the thermal insulation of houses. Uh, in the Baumit group in Europe, uh, uh, we produce about 45 uh, million square meters of uh, thermal insulated uh, facades per year. And if you know that with every square meter you produce, you put on your houses, mm -hmm. you save as much CO2 as if you would plant two trees. Then you have the equal of 90 million trees, which we make the climate together better than if we would not have done this. And this 90 million trees, uh, if you imagine, this is more uh, than the United Nations uh, do for the whole 
uh, in the whole climate change, climate saving uh, uh, program uh, in the Amazonas area, then you can imagine uh, what this means uh, to save energy. And we are just speaking about saving. And that's why, beside all other topics, this is the topic which is most important for the future of our children. That's the best reason. While watching the nominees and the projects, you have the chance to vote. Here are the nominees. So let's see how the online audience uh, voted. On uh, first place is Green Facade Austria, but who is the winner of this category? Mr. Schmidt, you have the envelope. Please this open the very first this one. This is very difficult this year because I like all the houses very, very much, and especially this combination of uh, Baumit products with uh, stones, with wood, with a little bit of glass, good dimension relation between the different products. So let's see uh, who the winner is. That's exciting. <laughs> who is it? Spain. <laughs> Object name Vivienda Alcoba, Spain, architect MYCC. I hope I say it in a good way. Right way. Con congratulations, Spain again, our friends. <laughs> the architects perfectly integrated thermal insulation into this Spanish home by complementing the design of the rest of the historic premises. So, here are the winners. Hello, here are the winners. How are you? Did you expect to win? Greetings to Spain. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. I will do the translation, if you don't mind. Uh, of course, uh, sorry, again, Mr. Smith, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, congratulations, Carmina, Beatriz. How do you feel about this, uh, winning this prize? <laughs> Buenas tardes. Pues estamos sorprendidas. La verdad, no nos esperábamos el premio. Bueno, hemos hecho el proyecto con mucha ilusión y con muchas ganas. Y siempre hay mucho nivel en este, en este concurso. Y entonces, ha sido una sorpresa, una grata sorpresa. Pero estamos sorprendidas, que no me So, it was a big surprise for her, for them. Of course, they, they made the project with a lot of love and care, and they are really happy to be the winners of this uh, category. Uh, they have been participating in other events as well, and this is why I really congratulate you again, and we are happy to be here again. So... Un aplauso para todos. Yeah, it's a little applause in Spain. So the trophy and the prize money is yours. Have a nice afternoon. Greetings to Spain. 
So for our second category, historical renovation, I would like to welcome the CEO of the Baumit Group, Mr. Gerald Prinzhorn, who is on stage with me right, right now. Good afternoon. Hello. Good Hello. afternoon. Mr. Prinzhorn, for more than a year now, you're the head of the whole Baumit Group. What was your personal highlight in this last year as CEO? Uh, well, I think 2020 was quite a special year, uh, not only for me. Um, and I think it was interesting to see how individuals, how organizations and society behaves in such an extraordinary situation. And um, I hope that we get a lot of positive aspects in the future of that. And concerning the construction industry, it was quite a good year. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm very happy that a lot of people now care more about their homes. Mm -hmm. What makes Baumit so special for you? Uh, well, Baumit, it's, it's the people, it's the, it's the team, it's the spirit. And at this uh, stage, I really would like to, to thank all my my mates out there who really helped me to settle in very quickly. Mm. It's your first life challenge, so you know what your job is, or shall I describe it? Uh, well, um, okay. let me, well, since I'm a little small, since I was a little small kid, uh, it was always my dream to be part of the life challenge. And to be up here now and uh, to see all this, it's just uh, overwhelming for me, and I just want to thank my dad and want to thank my mom and my wife and my kids and it's, it's really great to be here. And you always wanted to open a, an envelope. Ah, this was it. Thank yes. you very much. Yeah, of but course. Just wait, wait, wait. Not yeah. now. First of all, we have to have a look at the nominees and you have the chance to vote right now. So, who won the life challenge? Let's have a look. It's the Secession in Austria. This would be um, on place one in the online voting, but what is written on the piece of paper in the envelope? Mr. Prinzhorn, please. Really curious, of course, like everybody. And the winner is Novotny Baugesellschaft Secession Austria. The Secession in Vienna is an icon of art, architecture and revolution. The professional restoration is certainly an important achievement of architects and constructors. So, and the um, winner jetzt here by us. Um, how do you feel? I'll, I'll talk in English so everyone can understand in, in Europe. How do you feel? Did you expect to win? Um, well, you never can really can. Uh, we're very honored and um, yeah, I'm very happy that we actually received the um, prize of Baumit. Um, yeah, our aim with the renovation of this session has been to make the facade look like new and shine in its bright white color again. And I think we're really happy that we received received this and um, I'd like to take the opportunity and thank our collaborators, the architect, Kushanit and his team and also um, the, our constructors, uh, the company Novotny and thank you, thank you very much for this. 
Yeah. Wonderful prize. Congratulations, the trophy and the certificates will be sent to you. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Prinzhan. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll go ahead with the third category. And uh, the third category is single family houses. I would like to welcome Mr. Georg Bursig on stage. He's the general manager from Baumit Austria, the mother country. Hello <coughs> and good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here. Welcome, everybody. With five and, and, and sorry, yes. and congratulations to the Austrian winners. And as soon as the restaurants are open, I would like to invite uh, the main team for a good dinner. That's very nice. Um, with five nominees out of 26 countries, you internally get called the Nominierungskaiser, which is the king of nominees. How does that feel? Is it a big pressure? No, it's not a big pressure, especially when we won now one category. Mm, right. But um, of course, it's only working because uh, the team is working quite well. We have wonderful employees. It's starting at the marketing, sales team, management. So really, thank you very much. Mm. And of course, most important, because that's something every company is living from, it's from our clients, so from our applicators, and uh, thanks for that. Yeah, y you seem so happy and positive. That all sounds like you're fulfilled in um, the Baumit slogan, ideas with the future. Could you please tell us about your latest research? Yes, of course. I mean, we are quite innovation driven because um, it's very important that a company looks forward and is also having always new products. And it started, you know, that with the open system, which is a humidity, si so which is a system which lets humidity through. And uh, as we heard before, is saving energy. And I mean, the best energy is that one you don't use, especially winter and summer. Uh, regarding to the Star Trek, to the startup, and also, which is very important in the newer times, mm -hmm. um, let's say the healthy products, so really plasters which are regulating the humidity, mm -hmm. and uh, up to the Viva Forschungspark, so our Viva Science Park, where we are checking which products are good for the influence for your health, mm -hmm. because 80% mm -hmm. you spend in time, uh, in house. And uh, from the result, it turned out there, it's quite, if it's quite easy. Yeah? You have to insulate the house, you have to build solid, also to save forest. Yeah. And you need inside a good plaster because it's like your skin uh, regulating your uh, humidity. And that's the most important thing. That sounds super interesting, but let's get back to the life challenge. Okay. <laughs> um, the next category is single family houses and at least a category where Austria is not nominated. Let's I have don't understand why. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's have a look at the nominees and don't forget to vote. Don't open it now. So these are the nominees, Mr. Bozik. Which one is your favorite? Uh, okay, I mean, my favorite is uh, that one on the right side because yeah. it has most potential for bomb uh, products. Okay, <laughs> because of the color? Uh, because of the plasters, yes. Yeah, <laughs> and because of the red, <laughs> yes. <laughs> as I know. Well, let's have a look how the audience voted. Yes. Here is the online voting. It's on place three, it's Villa Alma in Italy. Number two is uh, Patio number one in Slovenia. Oh, now it changed. And yeah. number one is um, Longitudinal 
You Excellent. know Hungarian, so please tell but me. But it's it's uh, English. It's not Hungarian. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, it's um, longitudinal yes. access home Hungary. Okay, okay. This is the online voting. But yes. what is in your envelope? Okay. okay. Let's open the envelope. Okay, and the winner is the single family house in Hungary. Yay! <laughs> so, uh, so it's the house on the right side. Congratulations. And this is the winner project. So, not your early equipment. A modern interpretation of the classic colonnaded portico with warm materials in contrast to the dark anthracite Baumit creative top. As the former CEO of Baumit Hung uh, um, Hungary, you must be super proud. Oh, thank you, <laughs> the winners. Okay. So can, you, can you say congratulations yeah, in Hungary? Uh, Nagyon gratulálok, nagyon büszke vagyok, mert hát ez a régi Anja ország, szó nagyon büszke vagyok, hogy Mario Szak nyert Oscar. Gratulálok. Please, um, you have to translate. I Sorry, I have to translate. So I'm very proud that the old mother country, because I spent 10 years in Hungary, was uh, winning the prize, and also my three kids were born in Hungary. So congratulations, and uh, I'm very proud of you. Thank you. So and uh, what do the winners say? It's a whole family. Uh, hi, great, greetings from Hungary. Um, okay, that's... Uh, we didn't expect it, so uh, thank you for this prize. It's a great honor to be there and to receive it today. Of course, it had been better to celebrate it in Valencia yeah. last year. We are very grateful that Hungarian architecture could come to the light for a few seconds with us. Uh, many thanks for the Baumit Hungary, for the colleagues here, and many thanks for our family and for our colleagues in our architecture studio. Thank you very much. Yeah, so congratulations. So I also have to say, Gabor Ili will invite you for dinner as soon as the restaurants are open in Hungary. <laughs> thank that, you very much. That's a plan. Congratulations and thank you, Mr. Bosnick. Thank you very thank you. Much. So let's head on to the fourth category. It's non-residential and I would like to welcome via live connection directly from Madrid, the general manager from Baumit Spain, Mr. Fernando Arabe, and the head of the live challenge jury, Mr. Mauro Bravo. So, do I see them? So, they are not here yet. Oh, here they are. Here is Fernando Arabe. Hello, buenos dias. And here is Mauro Bravo. Nice to see you. Can you hear me? I can't hear you, yeah, but we can hear oh, you. now I can hear you. Perfect. Mr. Arabe, what makes Baumit Spain so special? I mean, Spain won the Life Challenge Award already twice. Can you tell us your secret? Is it you? Is it your team? Or is it simply the Spanish architecture? Well, to be honest, dear Bianca, uh, thank you very much. Congratulations, first of all, for this uh, brilliant event you are conducting. Let me send from Madrid a big applause for you as well. Por favor, un aplauso de nuevo para ellos. Thank you again. So, to your question, Bianca, it is not just me as an architect, but all the team in Baumet de Spain, which is very close to the architects here. Not only in the studio, but in the building site as well. And, of course, we are proud of the project and design. Many colleagues celebrating today this event together with the president of the jury member, uh, is the best sample of this long-term collaboration. And yes, we are proud in Baumit about our success and happy to bring all the architects around Europe, the Life Challenge cost Contest, using all their wonderful projects to show the possibilities of Baumit products and system. So, Bianca, there is no secret for the success. It is just a win-win relation in a, in a long term. And Mr. Bravo, as the head of the Life Challenge jury, how do you feel about this special Life Challenge right now? Hello, thank you, Baumit, and thank you, for, uh, Fernando, for giving me this opportunity to be head of this jury. It's such an honor. Uh, 
And I have to say, it's a pity in this occasion to don't have the, the opportunity to, to, to meet the, any one of the, of the jury uh, alive. But on the other hand, uh, I think we had been dealing very well online to, to have a, a, the, the best uh, project that you have in this competition and to decide together with the total independence of the jury, the best project of Europe in this uh, award of the best European fascist. So we are, as jury, very proud of all of you. And thank you very much to all the architects that have been participating in this competition. Thank you, Mr. Bravo. So let's have a look at the nominees. Don't forget to vote. The online audience voting is on. Here are the nominees. So these are the nominees. Do you know or do you, um, do you have an idea who the winner of the online voting is? What's your opinion? Of course, <laughs> not me. <laughs> not me. Of course, everyone has his own decisions. But what is important is what the jury member decide. And here is the envelope that Mr. Bravo will open. Yeah, but uh, just let's... I suppose to know what is... Yeah, but um, wait a moment. Let's check the online voting first. Online is uh, Seepark uh, Campus West Austria number one, but it, the question is, is it the same name in the envelope? Mr. Bravo, please open the envelope right now. Okay. Very, very nice and sensitive project. And the winner is the courtyard from Slovakia. So, and this is a winner project. The variety of facades represents human diversity and invites people from everywhere to get together at this unique public space. So, and here are the winners. Hi, how are you? How do you feel with this prize? Thank you so much. We are so happy that we won it. And uh, it's really pity that we couldn't meet uh, you and uh, other architects uh, and the people from Baumi uh, in Valencia. It will be really nice to meet you all. And we are really, really pleased that we won this prize. Uh, Really great, and it was really a uh, nice work with the whole uh, uh, team from Bounty. That we, uh, we were able to find the ways to embed the historical layers with these, uh, these video products, actually. And it was really beautiful work, which was uh, doing long term because this project was spent uh, through several years and it was. 
are made by the addition of new objects and creating the whole space together. So, thank you very much. Thank you so much for your statement. Congratulations and um, a big hello from Vienna. So, this has been the first categories. Two more and the live challenge award are left. Let's get some drinks, let's refill, let's have a short break and we'll be back after a couple of minutes. A healthy, energy efficient and beautiful living environment within your four walls. We at Baumit can make this dream come true. Because our construction materials create buildings that are especially known for their uniquely balanced and healthy interior climate. Our secret lies within our breathable thermal insulations, our humidity regulating plasters, and our high quality screeds, which provide you with the comfort and coziness that you've always dreamed of. Our knowledge of healthy living is based on the studies in our Viva Research Park. Differently built, insulated and plastered, our research houses help us to decode the best construction materials for a healthy interior climate. At the Balmit Innovation Center, we utilize these findings to develop our healthy construction materials. Our main focus is to create easy to apply products of the highest quality. And we do that for all of Europe. Throughout our numerous locations, dedicated teams are building trust with customers and partners. We earn this trust with our responsible raw material extraction, our resource efficient production process, and a well-coordinated logistics that guarantees our customers on-time delivery. To ensure optimal product applications, we provide consultation on the construction site as well as during the planning stage to help you choose the best colors and textures. Countless newly constructed buildings and renovations prove we already made the dream of a healthy and beautiful living environment a daily reality. Still, we are constantly improving our products so that future generations can create and live in even more energy efficient, healthy, and beautiful buildings. Baumit, ideas with a future. We spend 90% of our time inside and often miss it. The fresh, clean air in the woods, or up high in the mountains, or near a waterfall. But did you know what fresh, clean air really is? It is air with a high concentration of natural air ions like the one you'd find close to waterfalls. These activated ions bind to the fine dust and pollen in the air and clean the air in a natural way. That's why the air in nature feels so clean and healthy. And did you know that the right wall paint can reproduce this refreshing effect within your own four walls? The natural minerals inside the Ionit Color wall paint turn the room humidity into natural air ions. The highly increased number of activated air ions significantly reduces the fine dust and pollen pollution inside your home, making the air in your room cleaner, more refreshing, and so much healthier. These positive effects of Ionit Color are scientifically validated and proven. For concrete, plaster, and drywalls, the putties, Ionit Fino, and Ionit Finish offer the best surface to regulate room humidity at an optimal level between 40 and 60 percent. Combined as a system, Eonit creates the perfect indoor climate. We love being outside, but now we miss it less. Because every breath we take inside our homes reminds us of it. Baumit. Your home, your walls, your health.
So welcome back. I hope you have refilled your glasses and you're ready for the next um, category. It is multifamily residential. And for this category, I would like to welcome one of our Life Challenge jury members and founder of the Architects Office Superblocks, Mrs. Verena Merkel. Hi. Nice to have you here. Mrs. Merkel, this category suits perfectly because um, you are a, um, a professional in the field of creating multifamily residentials and, and, and projects with your company Superblocks. I have noticed that most of the buildings I know have white on the outside. Um, is the non-color white this year like the trend? I don't know if it's the trend for this year because uh, white is an, an ageless color, you know, and this is uh, the, the main issue of the color that um, it is um, a good artistic element to handle with in architecture. And um, although we are experimenting in our office with a different kind of colors, um, our, our first project, our first big project in the, the office we are working in is a an, an project which is all white. So we really like this uh, color, but um, I like to also keep in mind that um, on the issue of global warming, it is really essential to, to remember that uh, dark facades tend to absorb sun rays mm -hmm. and they tend to heat up. So I think it's quite, um, it's quite important to keep that in mind that uh, we need answers for the heat island effects, we need answers for global warming, and we also need answers um, for green facades, which mm. are really, really a big topic in urban development. And these facades, the green facades, they also need uh, like bright plaster facades as a substrate. So it's appropriate um, for, for green facade, and I think it's very smart and it's super sustainable to think about uh, different shades of white. Mm. And I really like the color white anyways. Yeah, me So too. thank you very much. That's um, extremely interesting. Now let's see who, um, what are the six um, nominees, what they did, and don't forget to vote. Here are the nominees. Amazing project. So what do you think? Um, which one is the winner from the online audience voting? I would suggest the second one because it's a very extrovert project. Yeah. So let's have a look at the online voting. Yeah. And it's Green City Austria. So, so is it the same? I think is it is, yeah. Yeah. And is it the same name that's in the envelope? Let's have a look. Yes. So the winner is uh, Slovenia with Mergel Apartments and Lab Architect team. Congratulations. An exciting combination of bright plasters in combination with golden metal panels. It proves that an economical solution can be elegant and functional at the same time. And here is the winner. And here is the winner. Is it a surprise? 
You, you look super relaxed. Are you happy? Yeah, yes, of course. Uh, yes, first of all, thank you for the <clears throat> award. Uh, as is, um, I, I must say that I haven't prepared any speech because I, I, uh, I, I didn't expect the, to win, but uh, thank you. First of all, I would like to thank um, two of my colleagues that are here and also the two of the colleagues that are not in the office because of the situation now they are they they have to stay at home so uh yes um i would like uh, once of all thank you for uh, uh, for the collaboration and yes it's 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 um, we are very honored and proud to, to win it uh, thank you very much yes also to work with the friend uh, we also need to to congratulate our uh, uh, equip, uh, our other uh, colleagues that uh, all pay, uh, make this uh, project uh, to live. It's a very nice project, it's a big, it's a big project, uh, and we are all proud of it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks you very much, Thanks again once again. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Applause at your place. So the trophy and the certificate will be sent to you. And now let's move on to a very special category, Stunt by Texture, that's its name. And for this category, I would like to welcome another power woman here on stage. Welcome Mrs. Stephanie Werf, the project consultant leader of Baumit Germany. Nice to have you here. Hello, Bianca. So, Mrs. Werf or Steffi, with your background as a professional painter and a specialist in the field of color and creation, this um, category suits perfectly um, for you. In your opinion, what are the biggest trends when it comes to textures and uh, facades? Also, uh, one important trend in the current architecture in Germany is to return to individually instructed plasters with different cranes. And um, very eye-catching plasters in combination uh, with smooth parts make facades attraction today. They can be applied on, on new or existing construction and take any building to another level. Light and shadow change the look of the facade several times a day. The combination um, of plaster with different materials, such as uh, natural stone, metal or wood, is complement on another so well-structured facade. At least, uh, speaking about colors, the trend rather goes to gentle tones, the main colors white in all shades, as well as beige to brown and light gray. Mm. Um, Color tones become calm, uh, more nature and more pleasant to look at. And strong colors are hardly found an exception in kindergarten or uh, nursing homes, um, sometimes in the area interior. Mm. But you also have a message for the Baumit people, right? Yes, I have a, a message, I have a wish. Um, I have a wish to all the Baumit uh, family, that we all stay creative and be able to present many projects um, and many instructions for the next Life Challenge 2022. Yeah, that's a good message and yes, a good wish. I hope it, I hope it. And it brings us directly to the nominees of the outstanding category. Here are the nominees and don't forget to vote.
So, Steffi, if you would have been at home and not here, which project would be your favorite? Which one would you give your vote to? I think I take uh, two mobile phones and I vote for the two uh, German projects they are nominated. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at the online voting. Yes. Um, okay, on, uh, on, on uh, play three it's Germany with yes. exclusive features, Winery Müller in Austria number two and on uh, place one it's Ristorante Bolle Showroom Agnelli in Italy. But which name is written on the piece of paper in your envelope? Let's okay. have a look. I open it. The winner in the standard by texture will be the Rue Curial in France. Congratulations to France. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's okay. <laughs> Congratulations to the France. And here is the winner. The play of different layers is most convincing. A white facade with Baumit creative top and a metal curtain is closing the gap in this diverse neighborhood in an elegant way. So, and here are the winners. Hi, how are you? Did you expect it? How do you feel? Yeah, yay! <laughs> so, I think we will redirect you. They look happy, even if I can't hear them right now. So let's try it again. Okay, so here are the winners from Frost. I think they will say something like, we're super happy and we didn't expect it. Yes, uh, oh, yes. here, here, here are you. So how happy are you right now? That is great. We are very happy about this prize. So it's a big surprise. It's, uh, it's a challenging project. It's a small boundary inside Paris, and it was for social housing and knowing how important our housing right now in this special moment. We are very pleased with this price. We are very happy to uh, for this price. I, I think it's uh, very stimulating for our agency to work with this kind of program. I have to say also that this a uh, uh, real team effort with the builder. It's a um, nice worker to make it possible. Thank you very much. Very nice. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations and hi from um, Vienna. So, um, Mrs. Welf, thank you very okay. much. And we're heading on to the next category. Dear ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached the top of the life challenge. It's the award. It's the best of the best. In the pool, there are 30 shortlist uh, projects left. Who is going to take the trophy home? The Golden Life Challenge Award 2020-21. Therefore, I would, I, I would like to ask you, Mr. Schmidt, um, one more time uh, to be on my side and to um, help me find the winner of today's Extraordinary Life Challenge. So, um, so far, are you happy with the results, with the winners, with the show, with everything? I am very happy because uh, thank you to the jury, uh, this time it was really a fair mix. There was not one country winning all. Uh, it was a good melange, good mix uh, of uh, different countries. Unfortunately, uh, if you look at this book, at this life challenge book, read it, it's a good book, uh, all the objects, uh, next time we should have uh, 25 uh, categories because we have 25 Bamit countries in Europe and each country has really nice uh, objects uh, this year. So I'm very happy and uh, also the whole, uh, the whole show more or less uh, went technical wise good. Only with the French uh, we had a little problem. But uh, that's the hoppala you said before. No, I'm laughing. Uh, yeah. This is always with French. I'm married with a French woman. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I know how it is in France. <laughs> <laughs> so, but still, do, you have, les <laughs> do you have a secret favorite for um, the Life Challenge Award for the best of the best? What's your favorite? I would have so many favorites. Okay. Uh, in each category, uh, I really 50% of... Uh, of uh, the of the projects we have in this book, I like this year 
very much. Yes, uh, amazing project. So let's have a look at the envelope. Let's open it. So the winner of all, we have to. Uh, oh, Wolf, we yeah. have a, a knife. There, yeah, there is a knife or an envelope opener, um, a Baumit envelope knife. opener. So. So. And the winner is a striking white cube with a cutout. A perfect sample of combining plaster, glass and aluminium. Simple and strong. So, and now you can say Lithuania. the name. Lithuania! On congratulations, the MoMo Museum in Lithuania by Daniel Liebeskind Studio, Liebeskind Architects, Do Architects. <laughs> so this is the winner, and here is the glitter you this were asking the for. <laughs> this is the winner, and here he is. Bravo. So, um, the big trophy is next to you. Yes, the trophy is to you. And we will send you the trophy. Uh, so, where it's heavy. will it's yeah. heavy. It costs a lot of money to send. <laughs> so, how do you feel? Thank you so much. It's a real surprise, really. Thank you. In behalf of Daniel Liebeskin, I will say thanks to everybody to this incredible organization. It was a great project for Vilnius and we are excited. It was not expected at all. So thank you so much. So where will you put the award? Ah, good question. <laughs> we don't know yet. Okay. It's okay, you can send a photo to uh, Robert Schmidt when you have received it. With pleasure. Okay. Thank you, very, Thank you much. very much. Have a nice afternoon. So, dear ladies right. and gentlemen, this was the Life Challenge Award, giving Mr. Schmidt the last words today here on the stage in Vienna. So, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, customers, partners, uh, our friends all over Europe, I hope you liked it a little bit. I liked it very much. Thank you very much for uh, your good work you have done in the last one and a half hours. It was very uh, exciting for me. Uh, all this new techno technology worked uh, quite well. Only our television outside uh, had some uh, from time to time problems, but I hope uh, you in your countries and in front of your computers, uh, everything will work well and you heard us uh, in a good quality. So like the quality of the Bamit products, uh, also the quality of uh, this show. So thank you very much again for being with us uh, today. And I hope, I pray to God that uh, this Corona will be soon finished and in the next year, we can meet uh, uh, personally, physically uh, in one place and celebrate uh, the next life challenge uh, together. So thank you very much. Goodbye and uh, stay healthy.